With a belly full of unbelievably good Coffin Bay oysters, it's time to head off to some vineyards. Our first stop is the Battle of Bosworth. One of the wines I'm keen to taste is by Jock Bosworth. His family's grown grapes around here for more than 160 years. Back in 95, Jock took over his parents' Edge Hill vineyard and people are raving about his organic wines. I've read about his white boar, a drop inspired by an Italian Amarone using semi-dried grapes. It's a full, rich, high alcohol red. How do you make it? Um, call it Amarone style, but what we do is actually dry it on the vine instead of in racks, which is the traditional Italian way of doing it. So you dry it on the vine, still on its bunches. That's right. And what we get from that is a concentration of flavour, but it also concentrates the acid. So right. the acid's at a much higher level than it would be for the sugar level normally. And so that's why the fruit's not overpowering and sickly. That's how you get some freshness ah. and balance and length all the way through it. I can just get a tiny hint of the spiciness and maybe the, 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 the characteristics of an Amarone, but when I taste it, this is a very, very special wine. And what I can't get over is the intensity of the fruit without it being overpowering. And yet I've swallowed it and there's something in my mind just chasing the flavour down my throat. It's just still lingering on. It's unbelievable. Keep an eye out for this little yellow flower on the label of Jock's Battle of Bosworth wines. The flower is a weed called soursop, and it's here for a very good reason. Soursop has got a reverse life cycle to a grapevine. And it's sort of a dominant weed, is it? It's a super aggressive weed, outcompetes all the other weeds, and dies off naturally in spring, summer. Takes a bit of soil moisture out, no other weeds grow. Perfect. Closed system, and it needs water when the vine doesn't. And then as that starts dying off, the vine uh, comes out of dormancy and starts growing. Jock produces a range of great wines, including a Cab Sav and a Knockout Shiraz. But he recommends you try his 2007 Chardonnay Viognier. Smell and taste the restrained tropical fruits, citrus orange blossom with a clean, fresh finish. You should pay around $18 for it. But with the demand for rosé increasing, the Battle of Bosworth has another fight on its hands. The War of the Rosé. The colour in that, I can't believe how, how rich and bright it is. I, I mean, and so this is your rosé made from Cabernet grapes, Cabernet, you're saying? Cabernet. Same, same block as this. OK. The major difference being that's picked probably two weeks before this and then treated like a white wine. Which means it's pressed before fermentation. I can see now why critic Matthew Jukes once called Jock an off-the-wall genius. 